you don't plug anything before you read the user guide. Then you use it and read it. After that, we use the television. The most complex of creation of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. After that, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in the Quran has written, "Wa Tabarak Allahu Ahsan Al Khaliqin." कि सबसे बरकत वो जहाँ जिसने ऐसी मखलूक को बनाया जो अहसनुल खालिकी है, वे the most complex of religion of of creation and so we have a user guide for our so for ourselves the user guide is the Quran and the Ahlul Bayt that's why the Prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said Allah Subhanahu wa taala he mentioned clearly that inni tarikum fi kum kamalain kitab Allah وَإِتْرَةِ الْبَيْتِ مَا إِنْ تَمَسَّتْكُمْ بِهِمَا لَنْ تَقِلَّ لَبَدَا If you stay connected to both of them, you will never be misguided. If you pick one and leave the other, you will never achieve salvation. So that is the criteria, brothers and sisters. There are a few etiquettes of the month of Ramadan mentioned in the Khutbah Shabani. I'll just indicate towards that. And because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in front of his companions in the Khutbah of Shabani, he says, give alms to the needy and the poor, honor your old, show kindness to the young ones, maintain relations with your blood relations, guard your tongues, close your eyes to that which is not permissible for your sight, close your ears to that which is forbidden to hear, show compassion to the orphans of people so compassion may be shown to your orphans, repent to Allah for your sins and raise your hands in dua during these times. For they are the best of times and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks forward and looks towards his creatures with kindness replying to them during the hours and granting their needs if he is asked. It is a month of sadaqah. Unfortunately, the concept we have of sadaqah is only limited to giving money to the poor. We understand that sadaqah is only for sadaqah is only for sadaqah. Sadaqah is a vital concept in Islam. Helping the poor is one part of sadaqah. अगर एक रास्ते में एक शख्स रास्ता गुजर नहीं सकता, एक एडल्ट है, एक बूढ़ा इंसान है, if I'm helping that person to cross the road, that is also sadaqah. If I'm looking at a moment and I'm smiling and to make him happy, that is also a form of sadaqah. If I'm imparting knowledge in front of you, in order to benefit everyone, this is also a form of sadaqah. So sadaqah, the concept of sadaqah is very wide, and we can inshallah in this holy month we should try our level best. And Alhamdulillah, I came to know that so many charitable organizations are working and some of the brothers were telling me that they go to different villages over here helping the poor really. It's very good, it's important. Because inshallah, when I will mention the purpose of fasting, one of the purpose of fasting is to bridge the gap between the poor and the rich. So Alhamdulillah, we should be promoting such kind of things, these kind of activities, because this month is the month of Sadaqah. This is Muhammad and Muhammad. Muhammad and Muhammad. Muhammad and Muhammad. And the most important part of the sermon of Shabaniya is when the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wa sallam he says that O people, indeed your souls are dependent on your deeds. Free it with istighfar and repentance. Lighten it loads by long prostrations and know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by his might that there is no punishment for the one who prays and prostrates and that he should have no fear of the fire of the day when the man stands before his Lord of the world. And we should be working towards it. You have seen it in the school. It gives a lot of indication of how we prepare for the Ramadan. By long prostration, we can leave off the burden of sins which we have on our shoulders. There was a person who came to the Prophet and he asked him for an advice of how do, how do I achieve salvation? Prophet replied, Alayka bi kubi sujood by long prostrations. Tell me something else for salvation. The Prophet again repeated, Alayka bi kubi sujood ke wapis hui long prostrations. And पूछता क्या और रसूल अल्लाह कुलाब रिपीट करते गए कि by long prostration क्योंकि इस prostration के अंदर what do we think prostration is not only sajda is not only putting your head on the ground on the mortar no that's a symbol that's only an apparent aspect of it sajda in reality is a confession it's showing our submission to Allah सुबहानअल्लाह 
it is showing our contentment to subhanahu wa ta'ala ke ay allah main teri nizam mein rasi ya khuda whatever you have planned for me i'm content with it and for in our daily lives we forget this aspect hamare khushiyon ke jo din hote hain hum bhul jate hain khuda wa taala ko but when we have difficulties in our lives ya allah ye mujhe mushkil kar di this is a problem for us that is we start complaining so that is a prostration is a, is a position in which you confess to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that oh Allah I'm ready to face whatever you have decided for me and I'm pleased with your um or wording for me in that regard sallallahu alaihi wasallam Muhammad Muhammad Allahu akbar sallallahu alaihi wasallam as i discussed yesterday how do we prepare ourselves for the holy month that can is meaning together the first and foremost thing to do in this month is to clean ourselves that's key enough to purify our soul and to intend good for the future in order to clean ourselves in order to clean our souls sabse important cheez jo hai wo kya hai wo hai tauba tauba kis cheez ka naam hai zaman mein what is the concept we have about tauba taking our tasbih astaghfirullah rabbi wa atubu ilayh astaghfirullah padhte jao aur saath saath guna karte jao it's a wrong concept it's a wrong perception we have about tauba just imagine a person i give this example of this it's been this concept if you want to head from dar es salaam to iran you either go by emirates or you choose qatar airways so you either have to stop at doha or dubai just imagine instead of choosing emirates flight or instead of choosing qatar airways you choose a random flight let's say you choose pakistan international airways pia will you ever reach your destination by choosing pia you certainly go to pakistan you will never reach iran in order to reach iran you have to pick up flight either emirates or qatar or any other random flight which is going to iran if you choose a flight which is taking you to pakistan and on the flight you keep saying astaghfirullah rabbi wa atubu ilayh you keep giving sadaqa you recite the whole of quran on the flight will you ever still reach the destination you will never reach the destination in order to reach the destination you have to come down from the wrong flight you have to go on the right flight and that's when you reach the destination this is exactly toba shahid mutahhari describes toba in one word toba yani palatna toba means to return you have gone the wrong way to return to the right way is known as toba you have chosen the wrong flight getting off the wrong flight and choosing the right flight to take you to your destination and that is toba jo shakhs toba kar le usko pata lag gaya hai ki wo wrong flight pe baitha hai to usko pehle utar na hoga flight se jab tak wo utrega nahi flight se kabhi apne hadaf tak nahi pahunchega this is exactly what is toba we know we have gone the wrong way abhi raste mein aap koi ja rahe hote hain kabhi raste galat le liya aapne you take a u turn right or you just keep going on the same way and keep saying astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh you take a u turn and come on the right direction this is exactly toba in easy words yeah this is asal baat hai muhammad ibn ali muhammad Oh, Let me give you an example. There was a person, a person who used to steal shoes. Chor tha, jute chori karta tha. Imam Raza alayhi salam ke ramil yaar. Ek dafa is ummid ke saath dekho dawan dekho dawan. Ham sab ko in mukaddas jago ki zara nasi kare. Ek dafa aawaz e bhulat rupee jamo Muhammad wali. There was a person who used to steal shoes. Jute chori karna wala insaan tha. Imam Raza ke ramil yaar. जब वो जूते पहनने लगा उसकी नजर पड़ी कि ओ एक जबरदस्त एंडस के जूते पड़े हुए हैं उसने कहा या अल्लाह अभी तो मैं नियत करके आया हूं अभी मैं वापस चोरी करने तो मामला खराब है लेकिन उसने कहा कि व्हाट डू आई डू इट्स सो मच विद इन मी दैट आई कांट स्टॉप माइसेल्फ फ्रॉम पिकिंग अप द शूज उसने क्या किया उसने वो जूते उठा लिए इमाम रजा को क्या बोल रहा है सोचे तवज्जो करें हंसे हंसी आई या सुन के लेकिन इसमें इब्रत है देयर इज अ लेसन फॉर इट या इट डज नॉट मैटर को इमाम एंड पिकिंग द शूज हमारा पुराना हिसाब क्लियर हो जाएगा ना होगा ये हिसाब नेक्स्ट टाइम जाके हम क्लियर करेंगे इंशाल्लाह कहीं ऐसा ना हम भी अपने इमाम के साथ 
یہ خدا کے ساتھ اس طرح کی توبہ کریں کہ اے خدا ابھی تک میں نے توبہ کر لی جتنا ہمارا حساب تھا کلیئر کر دیا اب یہ گناہ میں کر رہا ہوں پلیز کیپ اٹ اس کو ریکارڈ میں رکھنا اگلی دفعہ آ کے میں توبہ کروں نہیں نہیں معلوم زندگی کا بھروسہ نہیں یہ نہیں معلوم یہ رات نصیب ہو یا نہ ہو نہیں معلوم یہ رمضان کی فرصت آئندہ نصیب ہو یا نہ ہو یہ فرصت آئی ہے امام علی کی بقول بادلوں کی طرح تیزی سے گزر جائے گی اس اپرچونیٹیز کم این پیڈ اوے دی گوئی کلاؤڈز پیڈ اوے این ویلی سو اپرچونیٹیز ان ٹائم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر few important things to consider while doing those because we have decided that obviously we can't take a step further before cleaning ourselves and before purifying ourselves so the first and foremost step is doing toba few things to consider doing toba one is to be remorseful to be regretful of doing something wrong that to mujhe pata hona chahiye i'm doing something wrong aur mujhe pashman hona chahiye i should be mujhe nadama ka ehsaas hona chahiye i should be remorseful ke why did i commit this maine kyun aisa gunah kiya khuda ki barkah mein جب ہی کہا جاتا ہے کہ جب گناہ کریں یہ مت دیکھیں کہ گناہ چھوٹا ہے یا بڑا ہے یہ دیکھیں کہ کس کے سامنے گناہ کر رہے ہیں اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی کے سامنے اس نے ہزاروں لاکھوں نعمتیں دی اس بلیسڈ اس وتھ انکریڈیبل باؤنٹیز ان فرنٹ اف دیٹ کریئٹر ہاؤ کین وی ڈیڈ سین اس چیز کو دماغ پر رکھیں انسان فرسٹ ریمورسفل اینڈ بینگ ریگرٹفل ٹو وی شوڈ بی پلیجنگ اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی کہ وی ول ناٹ بی ریپیٹنگ دس سین ایسا تو نہیں کہ میں آج سفر اللہ بولوں کہ آج میں غیبت نہیں کروں گا انشاءاللہ اللہ آپ سے معافی مانگتا ہوں اگلی دن غیبت کی میں پھر لیں آپ سے نہیں ہو جائے That's not over So second step is that we bless that we will not repeat that again And the third is in amal That we leave that sin for ever ہمیشہ کے لئے اس گناہ کو ہم چھوڑ دیں That's practical over and there is a practical over Assalamu alaikum Assalamu alaikum So remorseful, being remorseful, that's the first step. Second step is to pledge that we don't repeat the sin again. And the last step is that we leave the sin forever. Huh, it happens because we're humans. We do it once or twice. But in the past, we repeat the sin the same sin again. But in this situation, mein, we should never be disappointed. And we should never be despaired of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Zumar, ayah number 53, he says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qul ya ibadi al-ladhina asrafu ala anfusihim la taqnatu man rahmatillah. Inna Allah yaghfiru al-dhunuba jami'a. Inna hu huwa al-ghafur ar-Rahim. Say, O my servants, who have acted extravagantly against them, their own souls. Do not despair of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Surely Allah forgives the faults altogether. Surely He is the forgiving and merciful. Guna, when I say repeat words, I don't have to say anything about it. But that doesn't mean that we make it a joke. That we do the sin, do the sin, do the sin, do the sin. No. We need to do the sin, do the sin, do the sin. اور اس کے بعد خدا مند مطال کے ساتھ سے امید رکھیں خدا مند مطال ہمیں بخشے گا امام صادق علیہ السلام فرما دیو پڑھے ہیں He says that if you have sinned in private do something good in private and if you have sinned openly do something good openly in front of everybody These are practical tips in order to clear ourselves from the state we are in and that is about I'm left with five minutes and inshallah I'll try to conclude as soon as possible. I'll be starting one of the etiquettes of Ramadan, which is fasting, which is one of the most important adab of the month of Ramadan. And inshallah, as long as I can reach with today's speech, inshallah I'll be mentioning. Otherwise, I'll be continuing the further few lectures, inshallah. Fasting, what is the purpose of fasting and what is the philosophy behind fasting? What will be the effect of Rosa? First of all, we should know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Asawmuli wa ana anzibhi. Ke ye Rosa mere liye hai and I will reward for it. Mais ka jadab jawab dunga. Jis ka jawab khuda de, Ke hume kisi jis ki na umidhi, Nahi honi chahiye. Kyunke Imam Hussain alayhi salam doi rafa mein kya kya kya? Usne kya paaya jis ne tujhe khoya? اور اس نے کیا کھویا جس نے تجھے پایا 
we have we should have that perception of building that proximity with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Question Is fasting not eating from Fajr to Maghrib? Question. Amar Nazar mein roza kya hai? Sehdi ke utho, time sehdi karo, uske baad Fajr par ke so jao, aur Maghrib ke baad, baas toh, bas namaz ke lootte hai bich mein, unka roza is tarah se chal raha hai. Lekin bharat, is fasting, this not eating from morning till Maghrib time? Because Imam Ali alayhi salam is al salawat alayhi salam. He mentions in Nahjul Balagha Hikmat number 145. He says, Kam min sahimin laysa lahu min siyamhi illa al-juhu wa al-dhamar. Kitne roze rakne wale, there's so many people who fast, but they don't attain from this fast anything but hunger and thirst. Kain aisa na hum bhi poor roze darom is ho, ke joh sirf bhuk hartal kar rakne roze ke andar. Roze ke ek hadaf hai, isse hameh hasil gani ki, कोशिश करनी है इमाम सादिक अली सलाम इन अल काफी उसूल ए काफी वल इन नंबर 4 ही सेस इदा सुनत फलयसुम समुक व बसरुक व जिल्दुक व शअरुक फला यकून यौम सौमिक मिथल यौम तफरिक ही सेस के व्हेन यू आर फास्टिंग योर इयर्स शुड फास्ट योर आईज शुड फास्ट योर स्किन शुड फास्ट योर हेयर शुड फास्ट and the day when you're fasting should not be like the day when you're not fasting. ऐसा ना हो कि हमारे रोज़े वाले दिन उन दिनों की तरह हो जिसकी तरह हम रोज़ा नहीं रखते। Unfortunately हमारी lifestyle में कोई ना fast पर नहीं आता। We should strive towards bringing that difference कि हम जब रोज़े में हो हमारा character different हो। आजकल रोज़े रखने वालों के बारे में मशहूर है कि जब रोज़ा ख़त्म होने वाला होता है मगर जब करीब पहुँचने तब भूख की � we start losing our akhlaq. Who is the one who is getting angry? Why is the one who is getting angry? This is not the one who is getting angry. Our character should be even more, much better in the month of Ramadan in terms of fasting. Fasting is to make your character, is to mold our character. This is not the one who is getting angry. We are getting angry. Question. Imam Ali Ali Salaam is the one who is getting angry. Question. Imam Ali Ali Salaam is the one who is getting angry. Question. Imam Ali Ali Salaam is the one who is getting angry. Imam Ali Ali Salaam is the one who is getting angry. He says that as-siyamu ishtinabu al-maharim Roza yani kya? It's to stay away from muharamat A person who's fasting and doing ghibat A person who's fasting and is hurting a moment This is a contradiction Imam Ali Ali Salaam is di kya hai? Roza yani muharamat se bachna Fasting has various levels A general roza must then subha se leke shantak nahi khana hai This is a general level of roza There is a special level of roza in which even the tongue and eyes and ears also fast And there is an elite class of roza as well Which is akhas It's special, special and special And what is that? That even the thoughts of a person are fasting with that person Ki insaan soch ki bhi gunah hai karay Ek bhoat bada level Imam Sajjad alayhi salam Masa ala sarwaz hum hai He mentions in a dua, which is at the time of entering Ramadan, dua number 44 of Sahih Faiz, Sajjadiya. He mentions, I will end with this inshallah, O oh Allah, help me to fast by controlling my body organs from sins and using my limbs in such a manner that you are pleased. Ya Khuda, is roze ke zariye, mere aza, my body parts, make me stop from any sins, from sinning. Mujhe gunao se rok de, ya Khuda. मेरे आजाद से गुनाह सजा न हो इन आजाद से सब वक्त वो करूं जिसमें तेरी खुशी है खुदा This is our Imam Ali Salam There is lots to mention about the philosophy and the blessings and effects of the month of Ramadan and especially of fasting which I'll be mentioning in the next lecture inshallah At the end we like to pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that He grants us the opportunity to strive on His path and to make the maximum of these opportunities and because trust me, this month, the month of Ramadan, as Allah says in Surah Al-Qadr, Laylat Al-Qadri, Khayru Min Al-Bishr, the nights of this month, of this month, are the greatest of nights. And in these nights, we can undertake journeys of years and years, in just moments and seconds, which we speaking. And this is the beauty of this holy month of Ramadan. We pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that He grants the opportunity to value this month and to change ourselves 
practically, and that we become a replica of the Sirat of Imam alayhi salam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma kull waliyika al-Hajjat ibn al-Hasan. Salawatuk ya alayhi wa ala